Hi, in this video, I will show you a new and highly awaited feature in full stack disaster recovery. It's about file storage service, which is now natively supported. I'm Antun Mubarak and I'm part of the custom apps and consolidation specialist team. I will walk you through a demo using two OCI regions, Frankfurt as primary and Amsterdam as the standby region. The architecture used for this demo consists of two VMs deployed in Frankfurt and sharing one file storage mounted on slash MNT slash demo on both VMs. Cross region replication for the file storage in Frankfurt is used to synchronize the data to a target file storage in Amsterdam. For this demo, the VMs are moving from Frankfurt to Amsterdam by leveraging volume group replication. Please keep in mind that the file storage service is also supported for non-moving VMs with full stack disaster recovery. When triggering a switch over, full stack disaster recovery will stop the compute instance in Frankfurt, switch over the file system to Amsterdam and switch over also the volume group to Amsterdam. And it will then launch the compute instances in Amsterdam and mount the file systems on the compute instances with the same mount point slash MNT slash DIM and reverse back the file systems replication from Amsterdam to Frankfurt. All these those steps are orchestrated stream seamlessly by full stack disaster recovery. Let's move now to the OCI console to see all those steps. In this window, you can see that I'm in the Frankfurt region and I have one file system here where the replication is already enabled to a target uh, file system in Amsterdam, this one. And you can see that this is ongoing replication. This is why we cannot export any, uh, any file system here in the Amsterdam region. Let's move now to the VMs itself. Here I am on the VM1 and in this window I am on the VM2. If I check, I can see this mount point and I have a file here in which had this content. The same content is here on the second VM. Sorry. And the same content of the file on the second VM. So I'm assuming on this demo that you are already familiar with full stack disaster recovery. So for this, I have already created two DR protection group. The first one in Frankfurt, and I have also associated the 2DR protection group in Frankfurt and Amsterdam. Let's start by adding the members to the DR protection group. So in my case, I have to add the two computes, the volume group as they are moving VMs and the file storage in Frankfurt. So I will check compute. I will select the compute name. I will keep moving instance and I will map the VNIC to a subnet in Amsterdam. And then in the advanced option here, you can find the setup for the file system. In my case, I have a demo slash demo expert export, and I'm mounting it to the MNT slash demo mount mount on the VMs. The mount target in Frankfurt, where the full stack disaster will un unmount this mount point and where I want to mount it in Amsterdam, where I have another mount target in Amsterdam. And I will click on add. Let's add the second VM and let me show you again the steps for uh, the moving VM2, moving instance. I will map the VNIC to the subnet in Amsterdam. And again, in the advanced option for file storage, the, mount, the export is slash demo and the mount point is MNT demo on the target VM. And then we'll click on that. So as you can see, the two VMs are now added to the uh, DR protection group in Frankfurt. And 
Uh, also, I've added the uh, two volume group corresponding to those two VMs in Frankfurt. Finally, let's add the file storage ser service as member of the DR protection group. So we'll go to add member and we'll choose file system resource type. Check this box. I will select the file system that I want to add. In my case, I have only one file system. I will select the destination availability domain in the DR region. I have only one availability domain. And then I will select the source export path. Here I have only one. And where I want the destination mount target to be. In my case, I have only one in Amsterdam. And I will click on add. So the file system is now part of the DR protection group. It's completed. Let's now move to the DR region in Amsterdam and create the switch over plan. We'll click on create. Sorry. We'll click on create plan. And we'll give it a name. Switch over. And create. So the switch over plan is now created. Let's go into the detail and see all the built in modules used for this new service file system. So here you can see a group of unmount the file system from the compute instances, and this will be run on the two VMs in Frankfurt now, as they are in Frankfurt. Then the usual steps stop compute, switch over volume group, and here you can see a switch over file system for the demo FSS file system, then launch the compute, and then full stack DR will mount this uh, switched full uh, file system to the new VMs in Amsterdam. And then we'll reverse the volume group replication and reverse the file system replication from Amsterdam to Frankfurt. Then terminating the compute volume, terminate the compute instance, and terminate the file system also in the uh, Amsterdam, in the Frankfurt region. So as you can see, those are all built-in modules. I have never, I have done any customization to this DR protection group. All those steps are uh, built in. Let's now run a pre-check. So click on pre-check and run, run pre-check. As usual, it's in the queue. It will be in progress in a second. So let me pause the video for now and I will be back once it's done. Pre-checks uh, are completed. Two minutes, uh, 56 uh, seconds. So everything is okay. Let's now move and run the switch over. So we'll go to the plan and click on execute the R plan. I will ignore the pre-checks now and I will run it. Those are the steps. They are on the queues, a group. And uh, I will pause the video for the moment and I will be back once everything is done and we will show you all the changes made, made by full stack disaster recovery. So the switchover plan is uh, now completed. It took uh, it took 19 uh, minutes and a half. Uh, so uh, everything is successfully completed. Let's check uh, what has been done. So if we go here in the Frankfurt region, I will check first the VMs. So the VMs are uh, completely terminated in uh, Frankfurt and in, uh, sorry, in Amsterdam here, if I go to the compute instances, the VMs are now running here in the Amsterdam region. If I go to the file storage service in Amsterdam, I can see that there's a new one here, which is a primary one, and it was created from a parent, from a clone, uh, from a replication snapshot. Uh, and now this one, which is a primary, is now replicated to another region. 
and if we to uh, to um, to Frankfurt, and in Frankfurt, if I go to the storage file system, here I have this file system, and it's now a replication of the ones that is now in in the uh, Amsterdam region. Let's go now to the VMs and see. So here in this one, I am on the Amsterdam, in Amsterdam region. And if you remember, the mount points are, is the same, but the target has a different IP address. So if I check the content of the demo file, I can see that it's always the same content and I can just make a just a write in this file here and i will check on the second vm this is the new entries that i have added to the file from the amsterdam region so uh, 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 as you can see, the, the everything has moved from uh, the uh, Amsterdam, uh, from the Frankfurt region to Amsterdam. Uh, everything was done through the built-in module on full stack disaster recovery with moving instances. But keep in mind that this could be also done with uh, non-moving instances. I hope that this video was helpful for you and you have a, a real uh, usage of uh, file storage with full stack disaster recovery. Thank you for watching.